Modeling Exercise M1. Necessary preparations, create the first part, and save it. Welcome to Learn NX. You don't have any experience with NX yet? Then you've come to the right place. In 60 exercises, all with detailed videos and exercise material to download, you will get to know NX from the very basics. The necessary basic knowledge is taught in the exercises marked in blue. You can test your new knowledge with the green tests. And with the expert exercises marked in red, you can delve even deeper into the subject matter. Always step by step, and sometimes with some humor. But if there are still questions, if it just won't work, then write to info at learnnx.com. We'll find a solution. Ready? Then here we go. Customizing the user interface. Various user interfaces are saved in NX, using so-called roles. Depending on the selection, the number of displayed commands is larger or smaller. To really be able to use all the options, you should select the most comprehensive role. Click on roles in the resource bar, and select the advanced role in the content folder. Click OK in the information window to confirm the selection. Now comes the finishing touches. Press the shortcut keys Ctrl plus 2 and select Layout. Select the settings shown here and be sure to activate Save Layout at Exit so that the changes are also applied the next time you start NX. You can select different displays under Theme. Let me try them out for you. However, all videos on Learn NX are recorded with the recommended setting. Under Resource Bar you can set whether it is displayed on the left or right. And select the More setting under Dialog and Precision so that menus are always displayed in full. Do you think the icons are a bit too small? Then press the key combination Ctrl plus 1 and select icons. Deactivate the adjust to screen display scale option and select the desired size for the ribbon bar, for example 150%. That's all there is to it. You have now adopted the course settings and can see all the commands in full. NX will keep the setting even after a restart. Creating the first part. After clicking on New, you can choose from various templates. A template with the settings it contains is selected according to the task. The settings include units, body colors, areas, sketches, settings, etc. A new part in NX is therefore always a copy of the selected template. Choose the template model for the first part. We will also work with this template in the next exercises. File name and storage location. The file name is limited to unbelievable 256 characters. What? 256 characters? That's almost a novel. Yes and no, because all characters of folder and subfolder names also count. Even the dot between the file name and the extension. The directory structure may contain a maximum of 18 levels, meaning subdirectory in subdirectory in subdirectory etc. There is just a few characters that are not allowed. Quotation marks. Star key. Cologne, just allowed between the hard drive letter and the file name. Characters for bigger than and smaller than. Slash and backslash. Grave accent. And the vertical bar. You can now enter the file name here and select the folder here. I call the part, according to the exercise, M1, and select the folder modeling exercises. NX now automatically starts the application modeling and offers a choice of tasks. You can switch tabs by just clicking them. In the middle you can see the graphics window, which at the moment just displays the coordinate system. Possibly, there are navigators to the left or right border of the graphics window, 
which we don't need for the first few exercises. After clicking on resource bar options, and then on tabs, you can hide the navigators. Only history and roles are needed for the first exercises. By now your screen should look like the exercise screen. In the next exercise we will start the first simple construction. Saving the part. Now our file has to be saved. In the tab of the file the symbol modified is displayed to remind you, your work is not saved yet. NX does not save automatically. This program clearly separates internal memory from hard drive. Of course there will be a warning if you exit without saving. But that won't help with the power outage, so don't forget to save regularly. And after clicking on save, the symbol also disappears. And what if I forgot to give the part a name? No problem, I'll just show you. I create a new part, do not specify a name or folder, but instead click OK immediately. As we can see, the name will be used as a temporary name for our current session. If you click save later, the menu prompting for name and folder will appear and you can just enter the missing things now. If you still don't enter anything, the part would be saved by the shown name and path. And with that, we have already reached the end of the first exercise. At learnnx.com you will find this and other exercises. As a member, you can also access the site without advertising, along with practice materials and, if you wish, a certificate. I'm always open to ideas and suggestions. Write in the comments or directly to info at learnnx.com.